Hi, amazing friends. Let's solve for x. Um, first of all, when you have a divided by b raised to the power of x, this is equal to a to the power of x divided by b to the power of x. Okay, so we are going to express this side in this form. So if we do that, we have x to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. Now, we are going to cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we have that x to the power of 6 is equal to this times this. That is 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. Now, remember that a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is equal to ab raised to the power of m. Okay, so that simply means that we can write this as x to the power of 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 6. So x to the power of 6 is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Now let's transfer this to this side of the equation. Okay, if we do that, we have x to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 0. All right. Remember that a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? Now, that means this can be expressed, we can express 6 as product of its factors. That means 6 can be expressed as 3 multiplied by 2, okay? So we write x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 minus 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to zero. Now, applying the law that I just explained, we can write it as x to the power of three raised to the power of two minus six to the power of three raised to the power of two is equal to zero. Now, we are seeing difference of two squares. Yes, difference of two squares states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b, okay? That means that we can write this as x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, we can say that when you have a multiplied by b is equal to 0, then either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0, okay? So that means that we can write that either x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 or x to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, I want us to note one thing. Remember the algebra identity that states that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared and a to the power of three plus b to the power of three is equal to a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so we are going to use this um these identities to expand this one and this one so let's do that so if we do that we are going to have for this side it's going to be x minus 6 multiplied by x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared. Okay? So that means this is equal to 0. Let me shift this a bit, please. So this is x to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Now this is equal to 0. Okay? Then for this side, for this side, we are going to have x plus, this is 6 x plus 6 multiplied by x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared, okay? This is equal to 0, okay? Now, for this side, you can see that x minus 6 is equal to 0, excuse me, x minus 6 is equal to 0, or x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared is equal to 0. So if we look at this, you can see that x is equal to 6. This is the first value of our x. Now for this, so I'm going to copy this out. 
this part out, all right? Because I'm going to solve that letter. So x plus 6 multiplied by x squared. I know you cannot see this. x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared is equal to 0. So let's solve this first, all right? Okay, so we continue from here. Now, for here, we have that x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared, excuse me, is equal to 0. Now, 6 squared is same as 36, so let's replace this with 36. All right, now let us solve this using the quadratic equation formula. And according to quadratic equation formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac Everything divided by 2a. So x is equal to, uh, a is equal to coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Uh, b is equal to coefficient of x, which is 6. Uh, c is equal to a constant, which is 36. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 6 squared minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is 36. Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1, okay? So our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared is 36, minus 4 multiplied by 36, everything divided by 2. So if we continue... You can see that x is minus 6 plus or minus square root of, now 36 and 36, the same thing, right? So we can factor that out since it's common. So we bring out 36. 36 divided by 36 is 1 minus 4 times 36 divided by 36. 4 will remain divided by 2. So it means to continue from this side of the board, okay? All right, remember that we have gotten the first value of a as our 6, or the first value of x as 6, okay? So we are looking for the second and the third, the fourth, the fifth, and sixth values of x. If this is the first time you have seen us, please click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos every day. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. Give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you. So back to what we are doing. So we can see that x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of what? Now, before this, remember that square root of a, b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b, okay? So, this will give us square root of 36 multiplied by minus 3, okay? Divided by 2. So, x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus Square root of 36 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1, okay? Everything divided by 2. So our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus. Now, square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 root 3. And the square root of minus 1 is i. Everything divided by 2. So you can see that x is equal to minus 6 divided by 2 you give us minus 3. Plus or minus 6 divided by 2 you give us 3 root 3. And so this is the second and the third value of our x. The second and the third value of our x. Now let's go to what we had before. Remember that we had the one I copied here, okay? That x plus 6 multiplied by x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared is equal to 0. So this is what we have, okay? Now, x plus 6 from here, x plus 6 is equal And x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared is 36 is equal to 0. So from this side, x is equal to minus 6 as well, okay? So this is the fourth value of our x. Now, back to this side, we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula that states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay. Now, our a is coefficient of x squared, which is 1. 
Uh, B is coefficient of x, which is minus 6. And then C is constant, which is 36. Okay? So we have x is equal to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of B squared. That is minus 6 squared minus 4ac, 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by C, which is 36. Okay? Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So we have x is equal to minus minus 6 plus. So we have 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 squared is 36 minus 4 multiplied by 36. Okay? Everything divided by 2. So if we continue, we can say that x is equal to 6 plus or minus Square root of, let's factorize 36 out, okay? So it's going to be um, 36 divided by 36 is 1. And 4 times 36 divided by 36, we have 4 remaining. Everything over 2. So x is 6 plus or minus square root of 36 multiplied by minus 3. Everything divided by 2. So x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 multiplied by square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So, we continue from here. Therefore, our x, our x, our x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6, and we have root 3, multiplied by root minus 1, everything divided by 2. So we have x is equal to 6 plus or minus 6 root 3i. Yeah, because square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. So if we solve, we have 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus or minus 6 divided by 2 is another 3 root 3i. So this is the fifth and the sixth values of our x. Thanks for watching.